The biggest market for selling your AI services may not be the largest enterprise, but actually the small businesses in your town. Think of that family-owned pizza shop or that spa. All of these businesses provide incredible products, but they are so busy with their day-to-day -day operations that their digital presence is actually taking a backseat. And this is where you as an AI consultant could truly help. You can go offer them an AI audit where you can optimize their digital presence and help them really get to their next level potential with respect to the revenue. The biggest question is how do you identify those businesses? One way to do this is obviously to go and do a lot of research and individually call these businesses and figure out if you know you are a good match. This may not really work if you're trying to do this at scale, right? So this is where you need like a real automation tool which can allow you to do this research leveraging AI. So this is where I build this website using Google AI Studio completely from scratch. And I have the capability to go and search for any industry and in any city and then just click on find leads. And what it would do right now is it would leverage the grounding with Google Map and grounding with Google search capability within the Gemini API for it to go ahead and find those leads for me, right? So this is getting the latest real-time information which also captures all the sentiment and all the comments, etc., which are left on Google Maps for these businesses. So there you go. You already have this here. You can see, you can scroll down and see the different ones. So you can see this one is rated 4.0. So let's see what is going on over here, right? I can click on this and it actually takes me to the exact location as well. I can come back and it also tells me what could be the elevated pitch, right? So now what I did was I also built this Ask AI strategy. I can just ask it, right? What should be my pitch? for a marketing AI audit, right? So if I ask this specific question now, based on its online footprint, it is going to go ahead and give me a particular response. There you go. So you can see it has generated a detailed response for me, right? So the four-star experience within its resort setting, but you can amplify its brilliance. This is the problem on traditional methods. It's going to be an issue. And here you could propose a marketing audit this is an interview, like it, it also like identifies the gaps and un untapped direct booking keywords, etc. So this is where you have the complete pitch created for you, very custom built for this particular business at scale on the fly. And if I'm not interested, I can always go back and do something similar for, let's say, Viva Day Spa here. And I can ask the same question over here and then start kind of building on it. Now, once I'm satisfied with this, then I can go ahead and do my outreach. But this really makes my job very easy because I can now look at everything, identify and clarify my questions, have a conversation and figure this out. So as next steps, I'm going to show you how to build this app. But I think it's also important to keep in mind why this app was able to generate these kind of insights. And this is where I want to talk a little bit about the architecture really quickly. So from an architecture perspective, Google had actually announced grounding with Google Maps as part of the Gemini API some time back. And this is the documentation which explains what is the possibility over here, right? So it, it gives you qu quite a number of details on what could be the user query, what kind of tools can be invocated and stuff like that, and what are the different sort of methods. Now, you don't need to know about all of these things. Obviously, just knowing that the Google Maps grounding is available is enough. But if you are really building an application and you want to get the maximum out of it, I would highly recommend you go through some of the details which they have provided as part of the documentation. You'll also see that they have also provided documentation around grounding with Google search. This also allows you um, to really have real-time information as part of the interaction with the Gemini API. So just wanted to make sure we are aware of what we are really using under the hood so that you can take the maximum advantage. And that is what is going to differentiate you from the rest who are just building the app, just writing prompts, but without knowing what are the possibilities out there. Okay. So with that, let's get back into the Google AI Studio, and then I'll show you how you can build this end to end. So now I'm in my Google AI Studio, and you can see here, there is an option to build AI apps, which is the vibe coding element of Google AI Studio. So I'm going to click on that. And this is where I'm going to describe the idea, right? So I'm just going to give this prompt, and I'm also happy to share the same prompt with you guys on, on the chat message. So please do let me know if you're interested in this. But here, I'm just going to write, write a prompt like this, right? Build uh, a modern dark theme lead generation dashboard for a marketing agency. This should be the layout. You can split the screen in two parts. Left side is where I have the control panel because I really want to have broad in, not just focus on one specific industry, but I can just want to have it across different industries. 
Um, and then on the right side, I really want to have a Google map that displays a result and is dynamically linked to the search results. So that is the key here. And use this particular model. You can specify, you can leave it as well. But then it should use the search crowning and Google Maps crowning, right? So that is a specific part as well. Now, the other thing is the AI must verify their websites to find specific problems like no chatbot or manual booking only or bad recent reviews. And this is the intelligence part that you're already adding right out of the box, right? You can obviously make uh, the application much more intelligent as we go into it. But as part of your instructions itself, you can provide that kind of intelligence there, right? Now, before you click on build, what you could also do is, or what you should also do is you should click on the use Google search data. So this is where you're also already providing this to use all of these mappings. Add Gemini intelligence in your app so that it can take those kind of decisions on your behalf. And then already provide like AI powered chatbots. So if you provide all of these built-in capabilities, think of it as skills, right? It would do the job and it would build what you're really looking for, which we saw earlier, right? So as soon as you do this, it, it goes off the chart and it starts building this. Now, some of the things that I love about Google AI Studio, you know, the vibe coding is based on what you have input, right? Like it gives you contextual recommendations so that you can make your app much more interesting. So you can say that enhance the dashboard by allowing users to filter not only by rating, but also the criteria. So if I add this, once it has done one round of build, you can basically use this. You can see there are a lot of other options it is providing. So whatever makes sense, right? It can also do the com competitor analysis. So if you keep on adding, it's going to keep listing all of these things for you. So it just makes your app much more interesting while you're building this, right? So this is where the power of Gemini 3 Pro comes really handy because it is it just thought for some time, like 29 seconds, and then it immediately started building. And then while building, based on the, the kind of app that you are asking it to build, right, it, it is providing you that contextual recommendation, which I love. So we'll give it a second for it to come back. I, just, I said second and it's already here. And let's see what it provides. So it looks like there is an issue in the display. So I'm just going to ask it. I'm, I'm just going to add, like also implement all of these things, right? One thing which happens generally is sometimes if your key is not activated, then it might not show up. So uh, we, we're going to let it run and make sure it kind of changes. Looks like it is adding all the additional features that we had requested while it may have already fixed the error. So that's why it is taking a bit more time. But then let's see what it comes back with. All right. So it looks like it has made the changes that we had asked. So it has added more opportunity filters as well as like the competition analysis as well. So let's click on this. And this was not in the initial demo that I had generated because this is live. So you can see that it is adding something on the fly as well. So if I'm looking at dentist in, in San Francisco, it's going to basically look across the Google Maps and go ahead and provide that information for us. The key thing here is once it is able to provide there, right, it is already finding whether someone has bought or no bought. So this is like a golden opportunity right now. And what are the things that they are doing good? What are the things that they're not doing good and stuff like that, right? So you can actually j just click on this and then you can see all the ones which have missing chatbot. If you click on this, like everybody seems to have like online booking. Of course, it's a dentist. So, you know, you'd expect that. And most of them have a positive sentiment. So you can change the logic a little bit there and add some more opportunity filters, which you think will be interesting, right? So this is really fantastic, right? Within 10 minutes, we were able to create a very intelligent app, which allows you to generate leads at scale with real grounded data from Google search and Google Maps, right? I think we're living in a fantastic time where we can really use AI to not only create new businesses, but also help businesses run better. So I'm hoping that this video really helped and sparked some ideas. If you're interested in content like this, please do hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel so that I am also aware that you guys are liking it. And also please leave on the comment section if you have any specific topics where you would like me to go deeper. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.